Yeah, hi there. It's Rick here from the Cat Jewelry School and just wanted to get back to some people that had contacted me about Rhino Gold and um, the difference between Rhino Gold and Matrix Gold in terms of uh, parametric modelling. As the Rhino Gold users would know, uh, we have had parametric capabilities in the software for quite a few years now with most of the tools uh, and really from version 5 some of the tools um, started offering parametric capability just to sort of give you a quick overview of that in uh, here we have the split shank tool and obviously I can come in and, and change um, the size of the stone and you can see the split shank is adjusting based on the existing parameters to the new stone size. The same goes if you change the stone shape, you know, it, it will adjust to suit the new stone geometry. If we come across to the shank, again, uh, we can change some parameters here, so we can offset away from the gemstone, we can offset down or up away from the stone again. And again, if we come back and change our gemstone, uh, those settings will change and adjust based on the size of the new stone. So that's been there since version 6 in Rhino Gold. Okay, looking at the Cathedral Shank tool, same sort of thing is that if you change your stone size, you can see the shank is updating to reflect the new stone. Okay. So like we had with the split shank tool. And the same goes with the shank. If we come over here and adjust some parameters to do with that, Like the offset away from the stone. Same with the Eternity Ring tool. So if we change gemstone shape, for instance, okay, let's make this two mil. And again, same goes with the shank. So uh, as you know, we can sort of add more gemstones along the shank if we want to. Oh, we can make this a full eternity ring if we want. We can knock out some stones and take it back to sort of a half eternity ring as well. Things like the pearl tool is also dynamic so you can come and adjust obviously the size of the pearl. You can come in and adjust the angle of the cup where that cup starts from and also the thickness of the metal of the cup. You can adjust the length of the twisted wire in the base. You can switch them on or off, you know, so all of these commands are dynamic. So yeah, if you're a Rhino Gold user and you're concerned about parametric capabilities, I mean, you've got them. You've got them in Rhino Gold 6, 6.5, uh, 6.6. And for those people that have come from a matrix background and um, not used Rhino Gold before, uh, you'll see in the new Matrix Gold that there are uh, some of these Rhino Gold tools that have come across uh, the Shank tool, the Cathedral tool, the Split Shank tool, things like the rope, Twisted Rope, some of these dynamic uh, patterning tools, um, they were renamed in Rhino Gold 6.6 .6 and that naming convention seems to have come across into Matrix Gold uh, 2019. Tools like the Bailed tool in Rhino Gold also in Matrix Gold uh, 2019. Some of the artistic tools like Raster to Vector and some of those tools, uh, you might find that they're located in different menus and the layouts are a bit different, but some of those tools seem to be the same. All right, I hope that gives you an overview of the sort of parametric capabilities in Rhino Gold 6.6 .6 and uh, helps you, I guess, think about whether you need to upgrade now or whether that's something that you might want to do at some stage later down the track. Again, if you've got some questions, just feel free to email me or add to the comments. All right, thanks. Bye for now.